Thank you, Diane. I bring you greetings from Arlington, uh, home of the soon-to-be Super Bowl. And uh, tomorrow, I hope you'll be honoring our Texas Rangers, since we've hosted the World Series as well this year. We're trying to do our part to help this state make money. So, thank you for all that you do. Let us pray. Dear God, today we bow humbly in your presence with hearts that are filled with gratitude. As a nation, we are a blessed people. We live in freedom. We are free to speak our minds and live out our dreams. We're free to choose our own paths and chart our own course in life. Indeed, we live in a land of opportunity, and we're glad. We're also grateful as Texans for our rich heritage. Our state is blessed with vast natural resources and a unique spirit among its people. We thank you for the people across our state who serve to make Texas such a wonderful place to live and raise our family. As blessed as we are, we also recognize that we're facing challenging times on every front. Economically, we're emerging from a devastating recession that has left many people in our state homeless and many more jobless. The violence just across our border is unprecedented. Thousands of lives have been senselessly ended, and there seems to be no solution. Communities across Texas are facing the challenge of trying to provide for the education of their children, the protection of their citizens, and opportunities for businesses to remain solvent and productive. So, Lord, these are complex and challenging times. I come before you on behalf of the members of this legislative body. I thank you for each one's willingness to serve our state. I thank you for each one's unique ability, life experiences, and potential for excellent leadership. I ask you to grant wisdom to the members of this House. Give them wisdom to grant legislation that is fair, honest, and just. Legislation that will contribute to the health and the well-being of the citizens of our state. Give them courage to face the challenges of our day with conviction and resolve. Grant them the ability, the ability, Lord, to reach across the aisle and put the needs of Texans above their respective opinions. I ask you to lead these men and women to serve honorably and live up to the standards that we expect from them. I ask you to bless them with a willingness to be accountable and responsible for how they govern I ask you to breathe across this body the breath of humility and servanthood. And may the members of this body never forget that this is the people's house. And they are here to conduct the business of the people they serve. Thank you, Lord, for these legislators. May your peace rest upon their homes. May your strength fuel their character. And may your grace temper their behavior. I humbly ask you to bless America. And I humbly ask you to bless Texas. As a follower of Jesus, I offer my prayer to you in his name. Amen.